So welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril, talking about how to give good presentations. Today I want to talk about the structure of your talk. So consider you need to give a talk somewhere at a conference or defend a thesis or pitch an idea to someone. What should be the structure of your talk? Having a good structure helps you to get your message across really well. So for example, consider you're at a conference and you need to present the academic work that you have been doing over the last year and you want to spread this idea to the audience, you want to convince the audience that what you have done is cool and you want to become a little bit famous through your cool idea that you have been doing. So, and there's basically a main part, but there are things before and afterwards which help you to lead the persons through your talk and keep them engaged. So you should start well, that's the first and most important thing. And you start well by giving people a reason to listen to you. Give them a why. Why should they care? What's in there for them? If you don't present a convincing why, even if you think that everyone knows the why, make it explicit. Tell them why they are here. Why should they be here? Never start without a why. The second thing, which is a really great tool that you can use, is an empowerment promise. Saying, through this presentation, you will learn something and this will enable you to do something better than you did before. Or you say, I will pitch an idea and this idea will save us a lot of money in the long run, as an example. So tell the people what's in there for them. What will they be able to do which they can't do right now or solve a problem that they have? After you have done this starting part consisting of the why and the empowerment promise, you can come to your main stuff presenting your idea. And this is really depending on what you're presenting, if it's academic work, a research, uh, a proposal. It really depends on what you're presenting. Typically, it however consists of certain elements which always appear. So first, you kind of need to talk about the problem that was there. So the thing you want to solve, the problem you had or the community has, something to address. Then you typically explain what's your idea on how to solve this problem. What is your solution towards the future, towards a better future, or something that you have solved, the problem that you addressed. And then you need to give people an idea why the thing you're doing, or you want to do, or you have done, is actually a good idea. So build up credibility. And if you've done already something, like an academic work, then experiments are your way to create credibility. So you explain why the things you, you have done is better than everything which was out there, and you support that through experiment. This is kind of the main stuff bubble, the main thing you're talking about. And then you typically come to an end. And again, the end can consist of one or two parts. I like to make things explicit and then I add something which I call call to action. So you need to make it easy for people to react based on what they have seen. For an academic work that could be, they should use your approach. In this case, you need to share your code and your data and you need to make it explicit or you provide a tutorial if you want to dive deeper into this so that your students can use your technique to solve problems they have. Or you want to make people easy to discuss your work, spread the news among colleagues, or just a great advertisement to read your paper. This is an action which the people in the audience should do that supports your idea, that spreads your idea further, like a multiplicator. You can make that explicit. And then you typically come to the end of your presentation. How to end your talk. You can't just stop. You need to give people the idea that they know, okay, now it's over. And you typically do this by summarizing the key aspects. And again, the last slide of your presentation typically strongly depends what type of talk it is. If it is a, whatever, a conference talk, it would be your main contribution. What was the key novel thing that you have developed that you brought out to the community that solved the problem in a better way? This is something what you would put onto your last slide, summarizing your key contribution, also highlighting why the thing you have been done is cool. Other talks may require a different ending, but overall, that's how you should end your talk. So with the structure, start with why, empowerment promise, then a large block, which is your main stuff, the call to action, which sometimes gets merged into the main stuff, but you can also make it explicit, and a good end is a structure you should use in order to ship your idea and give your presentation. Thank you.